I need to feel safe. I need to feel safe. I need to feel safe. And safetyness around women in Grahamstown has increased in the recent past. Following complaints from Rhodes University students and locals, RUTV looks further into this issue. We speak to Tefadzwa Dudu Nyakotyo, general manager of the Rat and Parrot, about women's safety in clubs. We don't, we don't condone harassment of any nature, be it by our staff, mostly by our staff, by the people we hire out, which is mostly your control bouncers. Uh, the end result is we need the young ladies to feel safe being in our venues. Um, and we need them to feel safe to go to anyone, be it a bouncer, be it a barman, be it a manager, to say, I've got a problem. Irrespective of if they're drunk or not, to say, how do we, how can we assist you? RUTV speaks to a number of female students in regards to how they feel about their personal safety in Grahamstown. As a woman in Grahamstown, I feel like we are very blasé in the way that we think that we're in a small town so less crime happens and that we are a little safer than in big cities which is obviously not the case. I remember when to stay low keep firing uh, an event that was hosted by Nandi Jakuja and I had so much fun during the event like because it was only like women or non-binary people and then after the event um, my friend and I decided to go to Prime because we didn't want to go home at that moment. Then when I went to Prime, the guys were standing by the stairs while everyone was dancing, but it was such in a creepy manner. It felt like I was being hunted or something. That made me feel so uncomfortable and unsafe. And I, had, I was feeling so anxious and I wanted to go home after that. And so I left because I can't deal with that kind of culture in the club. I don't want to feel like someone is hunting me or behaving in a predatory manner. Bulelwa Twala speaks about her tragic encounter in the streets of Grahamstown during the night time. Yeah, I got mugged um, last Monday night. Um, around 8.30 on my way home from buying milk by two, three guys, yes. Um, at first one was just constantly following me around and then when I was going back, because it's a dark street, there's light until a certain point, then the numbers started multiplying and I started feeling a bit uncomfortable about that. And then, yeah, there were a lot of threats involved. He threatened to fuck me up. He threatened to rape me. He threatened to do a lot of things. Then um, one guy was just passing by and he realized I need help, you know, because there wasn't really anyone there. You know what I mean? So then he came through and they sort of just dispersed and they ran away. So yeah, I guess it depends on what you view being safe as. For me, just having a man around me who's just trying to get with me when I'm trying to get home, that makes me personally uncomfortable. Nandipa Jakuja, a student of Rhodes University, speaks to us about her events that try to promote an atmosphere of safe spaces in Grahamstown nightlife. It's hard. I don't think women are safe at all. Like, and it's odd because we're a small town. You would think no man walk it everywhere, but it's not safe at all. And I know when Stelo get firing, what inspired me the first time when I did it last year was after Are You Reference List. So this is when people were being accused of being raped and ladies were feeling very vulnerable and people were hurt, people were being assaulted. Um, and I, it was just really shitty seeing my friends like not being able to go out anymore because... And, you know, going out is more than just drinking and potting. It's also, like self-care, self-nurturing, so um, I try to have a space where people could feel like at least I can leave my house and still not be afraid of being like harassed or cat cold or has someone assault me in the club or something along those lines. Yeah. I think that we should, as women, be able to walk the streets, wear what we want, do what we like, just as men can, and not have to worry about being harmed in any way. Mm -hmm.